The gels that I'm making mimic the sorts of materials that are found in the central nervous system. My goal is to formulate this material so it best supports cell life. The end goal would be to restore lost neural function in the central nervous system. This whole material could one day be used in a damaged spinal cord to help regenerate any lost cells and bridge the gap. For our purposes, a hydrogel works really well to simulate things about the central nervous system tissue, that is the brain and spinal cord. So brain and spinal cord, as most tissues are, are very, very highly hydrated. When we cross-link a polymer matrix in the presence of water, we end up with something that is 95, 98% water uh, with a small amount of cells and a small amount of polymer. But our polymer works in a very unique way that keeps that water together and makes it look and feel like tissue. We can use our biomaterials to drive a neural stem cell to become a neuron that allows signals to go from your brain all the way down into your feet, for instance, or an oligodendrocyte, which has a lot of branches and makes the molecule called myelin, which wraps itself around those neurons, very similar to the insulation on a wire, and allows that signal to move very quickly. My project specifically focuses more on multiple sclerosis and applications for demyelinating diseases. There are a couple of, of things that you have probably heard of, like a artificial hip is a type of biomaterial, but we do slightly different biomaterials in that ours are cell-loaded biomaterials. We design biomaterials that act as a scaffold for implantation of stem cells. So I'm trying to guide the differentiation and proliferation of stem cells. I'm testing the effects of different material properties, such as the stiffness, on the viability. What we're doing today is that we're basically prepping for protein expression of our elastin-like proteins for our hydrogels. The whole goal is to find a hydrogel that can mimic the environment uh, that's found inside our bodies. So we're interested in not only creating the next best therapy, but in understanding exactly how those therapeutic interventions um, could occur and what specific effects they can have. Within the next decade, our lab can make a significant impact on some of these diseases like multiple sclerosis and Parkinson's and Alzheimer's disease, and also on various different injuries like stroke and spinal cord injury.